I like things organized basically because I believe it brings order in my life. So everything in my home, my office and even my purse has a particular spot for it. But did you know what starts as an order can also become a disorder? Without my knowledge, I started to obsess on every single thing to be done in a particular way. That vessel in the kitchen has an exact lid to cover it. The TV remote has an exact spot where it needs to go. My stationery need to go in its designated box. And when that doesn't happen, I get distressed and also frustrated. Does this story sound familiar to you? All of us suffer from OCD in some form or the other. What begins as orderliness can easily become an obsession. So today, as part of the mental health series, I want to decode OCD for you and also give you tips to help you deal with it. Let's get started. Obsessive Compulsive Disorder or OCD has, as the name suggests, obsessions and compulsions. Few people experience both of them, few one of them. Either ways, those who experience them are subject to distress. Okay, no need to panic. Deep breaths, everyone. Obsessions are those repetitive thoughts that happen in our head, thoughts and images that won't go away. For example, fear of contamination from germs or dirt, especially in public places. Fear of illness or accidents for yourself and those who are close to you. Intrusive thoughts and images about sex or violence or both. Excessive concern with symmetry, exactness. I want the cushion to be kept in a particular way. If it's not a right angle, it is a wrong angle. Compulsion, on the other hand, are the actions we do so that we can get rid of the anxiety that comes from the obsessions. For example, we wash our hands repeatedly. Like cleaning in a particular way, we think that is the right way to do it. Excessive checking of locks or uh, electrical appliances or gas appliances, especially when you are not at home. Repeating phrases and counting things. Very cool. It's important to understand that compulsions are a way to deal with the obsessions. Otherwise, the person experiencing it will go through a lot of distress. As I said before, all of us have OCD in some form or the other. And when we go through it, it's not necessary that people around us can really understand what we are going through. I say we because what I share with you today is, is my experience in controlling my OCD. Before I tell you how do you handle it or deal with it, it's important for you to understand that these habits are formed over a prolonged period of time. Hence, you have to have patience and perseverance for you to deal with them. So how do you control your OCD feelings or feelings of OCD? The first and most important thing for you to do is to remove the stigma. Stop feeling embarrassed or guilty or even take pride in it because the moment you start getting any of these feelings, it becomes very difficult for you to deal with them. So do not put labels to it. The second thing you can do is to acknowledge the issue. Sure, it's a disorder and it's absolutely okay. Nobody is perfect. Accepting it will help you move forward either to help yourself or seek professional help. The third thing you need to do is to refocus your attention. Notice the likely situation when you start getting these obsessive feelings. For example, you don't like the way your spouse is making the bed. And when that feeling arises, move your attention away to something else. Start exercising or start playing a game Get your mind completely away from that obsessive feeling. Being able to delay the urge of that compulsive behavior is a positive step. The fourth thing you can do is to create a space for it. For your obsession, I mean. By space, I mean give those thoughts some time and your complete attention and start to analyze each thought one by one and realize why you're getting there. You may also write them down in your journal. The fifth thing that you can do is to care for yourself. Stress may not cause OCD, but OCD can definitely give you stress. Try to take care of yourself, practice relaxation and breathing techniques regularly. Aside from all this, if you have a gut feeling that there's something wrong with you, then please go seek help. OCDs can be treated and they will be treated by professional experts, either counselors or psychotherapists.
and the earlier you start it the faster you will recover from it that's it from me remember every single step you take in managing your ocd behavior leads from you a lot of courage and hard work so cut yourself some slack and be kind as much as possible so what is your ocd behavior can you share do leave it in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms thank you so much for watching if you like this video do hit a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel subscribe and also hit a bell icon so you're notified every week when i post a new video i'll see you next week until then take good care of yourself